Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 12 box off-season random team football mixer with a Brady autographed Super Bowl football giveaway. That's pretty nice. 32 spots, everyone gets a random team. And then at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names and the name on top gets that Tom Brady Super Bowl autographed football. And a lot of great stuff here in the break itself as well. Big thanks everybody here for making this happen. Thanks to all the people who bought their spots straight up and I and congrats again to the people who won their spots in the uh, in the filler breaks here. There's all 32 teams. Thank you to the teams. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it two and a three five times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we got Drew down to Chad. Two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we got the Chiefs down to the Lions. All right, Drew, you have the Kansas City Chiefs. Robert with the Chargers. Kevin with the Giants. Gretchen with the Bengals. Don with the Eagles. Gale with the Saints, Jeff with the Panthers, Jonathan with the Dolphins, Tony with the Ravens, Connor with the Titans, Colin with the Falcons, Don with the Vikings, Tana with the Washington football team, Bradley with the Bucks, Jeff with the Steelers, Ken with the uh, Kenny G has the Niners, David with the Broncos, Bradley with the Cardinals, Michael with the Jets, Jeff with the Patriots, Adam with the Seahawks, Don with the Bears, Eric with the Cowboys, Robert with the Packers, Connor with the Bills, Don with the Colts. Brandon with the Jags, David with the Texans, Colin, you got my Raiders, Tyler with the Browns, Buntai with the Rams, and Chad with the Detroit Lions. So let's get all this on one screen right here. Now, trades are allowed if you would like. So let's sort this by column B. And I'm going to pause the video and allow for a bit of that trading time. So remember, um, all the different years. We've got one 2013, couple 2013 boxes, an old 2011 box, 2019, 2018, 2020. So mostly 2020, but we cut across a few different years as well. So just keep that in mind before you make your trades. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have a break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. But thanks everybody for being part of uh, part of our Tuesday. I appreciate that. Almost the end of the month. Uh, the 31st tomorrow, and then all of a sudden we're, we're in April all of a sudden. That's crazy. All right, so there is the final printout right there. Here is the Tom Brady. There's the autograph. There's the Super Bowl logo right there. Um, there's a TriStar sticker right there as well next to the Super Bowl logo. That's, that's a TriStar sticker, so pretty nice. So again, we'll, we'll re-randomize everybody's names and see who whose name ends up on top. All right, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and the Panini 1 box is 12. All right, so I think we're in good shape right here. Let's go, let's go back in time with these uh, Topps Chrome. Remember when Topps did football? So let's go back in time to 2011. Does anyone remember the two, <laughs> 2011 draft class? All these blur together in my head. 2011 draft class held at Radio City Music Hall in New York, New York. This was the guy on the box, Cam Newton's year. He was drafted number one overall out of Auburn. Went to Carolina. Von Miller was drafted second. A.J. Green, there's Marcel Darius, A.J. Green, Patrick Peterson, Julio Jones, Alden Smith, Jake Locker, Tyron Smith, Blaine Gabbert, J.J. Watt. Those are your top 11 right there. I'm sure there's some others hidden in the later rounds too. Kerrigan, Cam Jordan, Mark Ingram. So a lot of dudes. Andy Dalton in here as well. Kyle Rudolph. Actually, a pretty good first couple rounds there. Randall Cobb, DeMarco Murray was in the mix there. Jordan Cameron, Richard Sherman, Jason Kelsey, so on and so forth. So 
there you go. TJ, what's going on? Gonzaga is what you're hearing in the background. USC Gonzaga. Gonzaga 58 37 on USC. 15 minutes left in the game. Oh, I did not notice that. I did not see the announcement by PSA saying they're halting all services. Where was that message? Is it on Twitter or something? It's on their Twitter? And no other explanation on their Twitter, huh? I guess my thought. Uh, I don't know what. I'm not. I don't work for PSA, obviously. But you think it's because. You think it's because they are that backed up? Wow. An hour ago, PSA announced the immediate suspension of nearly all card grading services. PSA is temporarily halting value, economy, regular, and express services, which, which accounted for 97.9% of all items submitted. Read President Steve Sloan's update for details. There's a link. Here, I'll drop this link to everybody in the chat. This goes to the PSA site. Yeah, I think it is volume. I'll... The sheer volume of orders that PSA received in early March has fundamentally changed our ability to serve as a hobby. The reality is that we recently received more cards in three days than we did in the previous three months. Even after the surge, submissions continue at never before seen levels. Given our backlog, it would be disingenuous for us to continue to accept submissions for cards that we will be unable to process in the foreseeable future. It's unpleasant, blah, 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 especially after the price increase, but it's necessary to properly serve the customers who are already submitted to PSA. Their goal is to bring back all suspended service levels by July 1st. So April, May, June. So a few months. They're planning on expanding their California operation from 58,000 square feet to 62,000 square feet. Hiring more people, blah, 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 blah. Wow. From 421 employees back in January 2020, they now have 783 people. So it looks sounds like a sounds like a step backwards to go a couple steps forward. So hopefully, hopefully that that'll be a good thing. Even though we have to wait. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Guess you have to wait on grading for a few months. Timmy is saying, "Why is Chrome?" And finest so hot right now. Wish I had some of your old ones. I know, right? I don't know. I think I think it's just a, just the trickle down effect from from how popular hobby has been just in general lately. It's an insert rookie AJ Green, but there he is, Marquise Colston. So this will go to Gretchen and the Bengals. Comic says I use uh, Comic is fancy. He uses Super Express, so it doesn't doesn't matter to him. Doesn't affect you. Yeah, I guess like the, their highest service level is still available if you were that motivated. Here is a silver, a refractor Von Miller going to my rivals, Denver. It's going to be for David. Flo Show, what's up? Who do I got in the Dodgers Angels game tonight? I have no idea. I kind of don't care. There's Tory Smith, Atomic, Refractor, and all of it. I just want everyone to be healthy. <laughs> Playing the final exhibition game of the year. That's all I care about. 
There's Tori Smith. The autograph is going to go to Tony Barkey and the Purple Birds. I remember how, how hot Peyton Hillis was for a moment or two. Hobby hot, fantasy hot. Ryan Williams, gold parallel. We got Greg Salas to 299, LaShawn McCoy. It's an important game? No, it's not. <laughs> it's an exhibition game. The important game is on Thursday. To be honest with you, I, th I, I think I think Angels fans probably make a bigger deal about this game than Dodgers fans do. There's Tony Romo to 199. And there is a rookie, Julio Jones. That's a catch right there of the many hundreds and hundreds of catches he's made over his illustrious career. Colin with the rookie, Julio Jones. Am I going to go to a Dodgers game this year? Yes. Absolutely. I think I think everyone in California, all ages, should be able to get the vaccine or be eligible for the vaccine in a couple of weeks. And I think they're already starting to open up outdoor stadiums for sporting events. So, yeah, I think I'm hoping by late April I should be able to, to hit up a game or two. I've missed it quite a bit. Although I, I think tickets might be expensive because I think, from what I understand, I think Sean has, Sean Jasper has angel season tickets. And he says that the limited capacity is open to, um, is open to season ticket holders first. I'm sure that would be a similar, might be a similar policy for the Dodgers. And then, um, so those tickets may end up on the secondary market, which might be kind of expensive, but I'll just have to figure it out. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah the Blue Jays are opening in Florida, right, for regular season games, and they're going to play there through May. The Raptors are down in Florida too, right? They, when do they get to go back? Oh, 60 bucks for where? Yeah, I guess I'll, I, I, I honestly haven't even looked, but I, I really should. So this is 2013. Pops Chrome football. This was the, I think, the year before the the Odell Beckham Jr. year. So 2013 is the Eric Fisher went number one overall. It's that year. And then Lane Johnson. A lot of a lot of offensive and defensive line here. Tavon Austin was on the front of the box. Tyler Eifert. DeAndre Hop there you go. DeAndre Hopkins, Zach Ertz, Le'Veon Bell, those are some of the, the names here. Eddie Lacy, Travis Kelsey, Keenan Allen rookies, so on and so forth. I think limited capacity Yankee six either require proof of vaccination or rapid negative rapid test, says Adam. That's not so bad. Josh Freeman, Mike Lennon, Terrence Williams, that's Zach Stacy. Zach Stacy was pretty great for a second or two as well. There's a Travis Kelsey rookie card, and there's Alden Smith. Nice, that'll go to the Chiefs. That's going to go to Drew Fisher. Yeah, having a good time. Mini Marquise Goodwin, that'll ship. It's only Vet Commons that won't ship. There's Eddie Lacy. He, he was 
on a, I don't know, it seemed like he was going to be on a Hall of Fame trajectory, Eddie Lacy. The first couple seasons were so good. Here's Darius Slay, Blue Wave. Here's uh, Bengals Rex Burkhead. There's Le'Veon Bell. Does Le'Veon Bell still have rookie cards still have some value? There's Monty Ball, mini rookie, EJ Manuel, Manti Teo. Huh, that's interesting. You're right. Yeah, the Angels being a West Coast team would never be at like a small small stadium, small spring training ground in Florida. Tony Gonzalez, nice dunk there. David Johnson, good flip there. There's Eddie Lacy again. Eli Refractor. Alex Okafor, two ninety nine, for the Cardinals. That'll be for Bradley. It's Tyler Eifert and an Aaron Dobson die cut for the Patriots. Jeff, with that one. Because you're back. And there's a Matt Scott, four out of 50 for the Jaguars. I do not remember Matt Scott. Brandon with that one out of Arizona. He's from Corona, California. Born in Chino, where the Ball Brothers grew up. And back here is our autograph, Camo Refractor autograph, Dion Sims for Miami. Jonathan with the Dolphins. All right. Tell some a blast to the past. Uh, so that was 2011, 2013. What would the next year be? I think 2018, we jump jump a handful of years ahead to 2018, which is right here. So, we have to come back to the next 2018 has to be the Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson year. And what that means is that the UNFLB team, had they finished the season undefeated, Yeah, this was, this was the draft at, uh, in... In uh, in Dallas, Arlington, Texas, AT and T Stadium. This was the yeah Saquon Baker Mayfield, Saquon, Sam Darnold, Josh Allen. Um, Leighton Vander Esch, Lamar Jackson, so on and so forth. DJ Chark. Whoa. What up, Jose? j Dog saying, did you see that Windhorst, Brian Windhorst reported that LeBron started recruiting Curry at the All-Star game? Recruiting to do what? G going into business together? Own a team together after they're done playing? Recruiting him to go grab a bite to eat after the All-Star game? Yeah, recruiting him for Space Jam 3. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. We got Rookie Threads, Bradley Chubb. 
And that'll be for Denver. That's going to go to David. Yeah, I, I don't think that's really going to happen, would it? I mean, Steph has Steph must have a few years left on his deal, first of all. There's Bo Scarborough, rated rookie autograph for Dallas. I don't, I can't see, I can't see him leaving, and I can't see him going to, and or or Golden State letting him go. I, don't, I think that's kind of silly. I don't. I don't think LeBron's going to go to the Clippers at all. Not after being a Laker, It'd be one of the last teams he'd go to. All the other teams, I guess, could possibly happen. I have a feeling he may want to angle himself, position himself to be on a team that would maybe draft his son. I could see that. All right, Thomas, you go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, so that was 2018. Now let's go into 2019. We got 2019 certified. Oh, we have a, another old box here, 2013. Let's go back to our 2013 mode. No, he's not going to go to the Clippers. And remember, the Clippers are building a new arena, so so he would have to go far further. <laughs> no, but he's not going to the Clippers. That I can guarantee. All the other twenty nine teams I could I could see it. Yeah, and I have a hard time seeing Steph Curry joining joining LeBron on a basketball team. I have a hard time seeing him leaving the Warriors. Or the Warriors even letting him go. I mean, I, I could recruit Steph Curry too. <laughs> but I don't know if that actually means it's the recruitment's actually working. Giants, Kevin. I mean, I guess Brian Windhorst has to kind of explain what the level of recruiting is. What is what is recruiting? I mean, is it just LeBron saying, kind of nudging Steph Curry and saying, hey, you should come join the Lakers. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's doing it. I'm sure Giannis is saying, hey, Steph, you want you should come join, come here to the Bucks. Steph Curry on the Bucks? That would actually be kind of crazy. And there is Matt Barkley. Freshman Fabric, dual relic and autograph. 20 out of 199 for the Fly Eagles. Fly, Don, with the Eagles. To 999, it's Connor Vernon for the Raiders. Brandon Pettigrew to 100. Dan Marino to 999. And Lance Briggs, piece of his jersey, just 299. That's for the Bears. That's going to go to Don. There's Matt Forte to 250. And Robert Alford for the Falcons to 999. New generation autograph. Yeah, 
Yeah, Curry's a free agent after, what, the 2022 season. But again, can you see Golden State really letting him go? I don't think the Lakers would have the money to sign, sign Steph Curry. The recruiting is nice, but... I think we're going to 2019. Mm, but I'm going to save those towards the end. Maybe we'll, yeah, maybe we'll do just this, we'll flip, skip to 2020. We'll bounce around a little bit between 2019 and 2020. That would be crazy, though. I wouldn't hold my breath for Steph Curry, but that'd be awfully crazy. But Golden State has to put put a lot of butts in that newer, that brand new sparkling arena they built. So I think they're they're gonna extend Curry for as long as they can, make sure they get a healthy Clay Thompson back. Draymond's probably gone as they start retooling that team a little bit, but. But yeah, they're going to need at least Steph and Clay, both the Splash Brothers, to be there to, to market that stadium, put as many butts in that seat in those seats as possible. I mean, unless unless that relationship between Steph and the ownership just crumbles, I suppose that's possible, but. Seems seems unlikely. They seem to be pretty on the on the same page. All right, contenders. Football. We got Darnell Mooney, who's our first autograph. That's for the Bears. Don, with the playmaker here, Darnell Mooney. Ross Blacklock for the Texans. Next autograph. That'll be for David. We'll do a randomizer on this. So we'll do a left-right randomizer. Albert Okwabanum for Denver. That's gonna be for David and the Denver Broncos. And we got a nice Brian Edwards ticket stub die cut autograph. 36 out of his number, 89. Nice. That'll be for Colin. He's got my Raiders. My Raiders expecting a lot from him next season. And we got an out of 149. This will be a separate randomizer because it's a numbered card. And we got points coming up. So remember, we're giving away that Tom Brady autograph football. The points will be in spot two. That'll be the consolation prize. I think that takes the place of an auto too. Yeah, it does. So we'll do a little bit of housekeeping at the end here. Let's just knock out this XR.
Turns out, turns out Gonzaga is pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. They're up 76 57 on USC. Is it, is it destiny for Gonzaga? There's Kenneth Murray. There's Quintez Cephas to 199. Jimmy Garoppolo to 199. Henry Ruggs, the third. Triple Relic. Another one for Colin and my Raiders. It's like 10 out of 75 on that one. And we got Desmond Patton to 199. That's for the Blue Horseshoes Don. Don McRae with the Colts. DeAndre Swift. Hmm? Take it. There's a Bradley Andre to 249. Miles Sanders to 75. And we got J.K. Dobbins, Triple Relic, and Autograph. That is for Tony and the Purple Birds. That Brandon Ayuk, Extreme Rookies, was numbered to 99. That's for the Niners. That'll be for Kenny. All right. So now let's go to 2019 Certified Football. We're almost there. We've got a couple little base heavier boxes off to the right, but those are fun ones. It's Mosaic and Prism. Prism Hobby, so it's going to be pretty nice. Looks like Gonzaga's gonna do it, right, ladies and gentlemen? I think they could, if, if, if it's gonna be chalk, if it's Gonzaga Baylor in the final, you gotta think it's still Gonzaga, at least the way they're looking right here. At the beginning of the game, we saw, I think we were watching Daily Wager on ESPN or something like that. We, we saw like a little stat where, where, the, where USC was, where Gonzaga was only minus like eight and a half or something like that points, and they were saying that that was the lowest they've lowest they've been favored since like January, which is wild. There's Mike Allstott to three ninety nine, and we got Will Greer, rookie patch and autograph to one ninety nine twenty five out of one ninety nine three color patch and auto Carolina Jeff Rossetti. Freshman Fabric. Out of 50, we have uh, Riddell Armstead. And David and Yoku, Mirror Signatures. Seven out of 75. For the Browns, that's gonna be going to Tyler McGinnis. Ed Reed Immortals to 199. We got Josh Jacob, new generation relic for the Raiders. Nice. Colin with the Raiders. Got Penny Hart to 199 Colts, and we got New Generation Relic Andy Isabella. That'll be for Bradley and the Cardinals.
We'll do a relic auto recap at the end, of course. Matthew Stafford to 450. He's out here in LA now. Maybe not literally right now, but eventually somewhere around here. All right, let's uh, let's do some 2020 mosaic football. Love this mosaic football. I think in a short amount of time, the reputation of mosaic football has has grown to maybe be sort of in the same class as as Prism, Select maybe, both. Time to take another look at uh, a nice sort of third-party mock draft site. Most of you know may know about Walter Football. They still has Trevor Lawrence at number one. Zach Wilson with the Jets is what he's thinking. And Trey Lance, he's got penciled in number three for the Niners. Moved up. And then Justin Fields for Atlanta. We've got Hakeem Butler. It's our first autograph for the Cardinals. Bradley. As I say, is Simmons, Mike Evans. Harrison Smith, Tredavious White. And an NFL debut, Justin Herbert. That'll be for the Bolts. That's gonna go to going to go to Robert. I feel like Mac Jones has been ah Panthers at number eight. Walter Football has Mac Jones going there. I feel like Mac Jones's stock after his workouts have been have been creeping up. There's Antonio Gandy Golden. Red parallel. Isaiah Simmons was a mosaic parallel. And we got a regular Justin Herbert right here for the Chargers, Robert. TJ Watt and we've got a Marquise Brown 9 out of 25 it's a nice one for the Ravens that's going to go to Tony There's Josh Allen Gronkowski comes our second autograph behind LT. It's going to be Henry Ruggs III. Nice. That'll go to my Raiders. That's Colin with the silver and black. The Raiders somewhat surprisingly did, uh, did invest a bit more in the offense than I thought they would. What other wide receiver did they add? Oh, they added Willie Sneed. 
So they added John Brown and Willie Sneed the fourth. They they added Kenyon Drake as well. They gave him a lot of money. And the suggestion was that he would actually be used as a receiver as well. So there's a lot of pass catching options for uh, for the Raiders. Let's see how that works out. I like the Ngakwe pickup by the Raiders. Hopefully that'll have a nice trickle down effect and take some double teams away from other guys. There's Lawrence Taylor, another LT to 99. My guess is that, that they'll go heavy on defense in the draft too. We'll see, Raiders are in a tough division. A lot of things will have to go right for the Raiders if they want to get to the playoffs. Although, what does everyone think? Game 17 is a go. I'm pretty sure, right? Is, is, that, is that official? Game 17? I think they're taking out a preseason game, which I'm okay with, and they're adding a 17th game. All right, and here's Prism. What does everyone think about that? Now, the obvious thing is, well, what about player safety, you know? How many players are banged up by the by the towards the end of the season, especially running backs? That might affect playoff planning. Prism Football Hobby Edition. Taking out a preseason game. I think the, the common argument from the player is like, hey, what about player safety? Of course, the almighty dollar is, is, is pretty important. I don't know. They, maybe they expand rosters? Right? If they could expand rosters, that would be pretty nice. Maybe an extra, an extra bye week, or would they screw around with an extra bye week? Maybe. Oh, the Vikings are playing the Chargers at SoFi. Yeah, you got you got to get tickets for that. Yeah, I got to start planning for the fall. I want to watch the Raiders in their new stadium. I'll try, Nick. I'll try to find, pull something nice out of this box for you. We got a. This is nice. Tua Tungle by Loa. Blue cracked ice to 99. That's for Jonathan and the Dolphins. Nice. That is awesome. Now Nick's thinking when they push the extra bye week next year, oh right, all be right in the world, then it'll push the Super Bowl back to the Sunday of President's Day weekend. That would be pretty nice too. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Kenny. Now that all the stats will go up. There's Michael Vick to 149, Red Wave. Yeah, that kind of screws up that kind of screws up like stats, right? I'll be like, "Oh, that guy's a 2,000-yard rusher," and you're like, "Well, remember that was game. That was a, that's 17. That's when they started the 17-week season." I suppose an even older generation would complain about how it went to 16. <laughs> so I guess I don't know, but it's been 16 for a long time, right? So. And when they changed the schedule from whatever it was, 14 to 16 or something like that back in the day, you know, I feel like not, a, not enough history had been established where people were just like, okay, <laughs> not a big deal. But now that the sport has become what it has since like this guy's era, it's Carlos Dunlap, now you're, now you're thinking, well, all that's been established, yeah. 
I would have been more comfortable with them fiddling around with like fiddling around with like playoff play-in games or adding more playoff spots or something like that. But what's done is done, Kenny. <laughs> like it or not, we're gonna have 17 games. I guess I won't mind towards the end of the season. And we'll, we'll, um, we'll unpack a lot more of this as we get closer to the beginning of the season, but I think there's a lot, there's a, uh, some big broadcasting changes too. It's T.Y. Hilton. I think Amazon's getting more exclusive games on Thursdays. Right, Chris is just saying one, one bye a week. 16 game season since 1978. There's Raekwon Davis for the Dolphins. Well, let's hope that uh, it'll be another, what, 40 years before we change, uh, <laughs> change up the number of games again. Oh, nice Patrick Mahomes to 275. I like the 175. I like that color back there. Right, that's right. It is what it, it doesn't mean I have to like it. I'm sure we'll, Kenny, at the, I'm sure we'll still end up enjoying week 17 once it's on TV. There's Joshua Kelly, Red Wave autograph for the Chargers. That's for Robert. There's Golden Tate to 249. Orange for the Giants, New York football Giants. That's going to be for Kevin. And we got a Tyrell Lewis for the Rams to 75. That'll be that'll be for Buntai and the Ramley. Twenty nineteen limited. Right, one more you could draft Kings Kenny, exactly. Baseball, I feel like I I don't know. I wasn't as angry about 17 games as much as I thought I'd be. I think mostly because I think it's been talked about so often for the last three to five years. You know, so I guess we were kind of mentally were sort of prepped for it. But I, I, baseball, they can't change from 162. Uh, Tom Brady back here. Patriots edition going to Jeff. We got Lamar Jackson, Juju Smith Schuster, 99. And behind Devontae Parker is Riley Ridley, piece of his jersey, 39 out of 49, going to the Bears. Don. Miles Jack, and behind him is Ed Oliver, 13 out of 25, rookie auto for the Bills. Oh, have the NFL go to 162 games? How long would that take? That would take years. Or you'd have to expand rosters to like 200 people. Then they could do it. Two color patch and autograph. It's rookie patch auto. This is 2019 edition. Dwayne Haskins, 25 and a 99, going to the Washington football team. Tana with Washington. Maybe he revives his career 
in Pittsburgh. He wiped his hand across that auto before it dried. All right, now let's go with Contender's Optic. Two autographs in here, and then we'll finish off with Panini 1, then we'll do some randomizers. If you're having a bad break, just remember, we're still giving away that Tom Brady autograph football. So that's still on the table. All right, as you can stare at the autograph above my head right there. There's Jimmy G. So he might be done in, will he be done? In uh, in San Francisco, there's Khalil Mack to 27. It's the green pulsars they introduced this year. Darius Leonard to 199. And the two autographs behind Drew Tranquil is Rashawn Gary for the Packers. That'll be for Robert. Now remember, due to the uh, the top loader shortage, we're, we've been having to place some of these thinner cards into top loaders that are a little bit larger than they should be. Obviously, our shipping team is blue taping these with painter's tape, so so they don't they won't rattle around. But just be careful if you're moving the tape or something like that. There could be very loose inside that top loader. Rashawn Gary going to the Packers. Robert, and the last one here is David Montgomery to 149. 37 out of 149 rookie ticket autograph. Yes, the Brady is literally on the table. All right. All right, here we go. Last box of the break. This is the 12 box off-season football mixer. I think I'm kind of on time, actually. I predicted the correct time for this mixer. Sometimes it's hard to judge, gauge how long the mixer's gonna take. All right, last one. Good luck. It's gonna be in landscape mode. And it's gonna be jersey and autograph Jacobies. 55 out of 75 for Don and the Blue Horseshoes. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Let's do some randomizing. Let's get our rando on. So let's flip back, do I have new dice here? Yes, so let's flip back to the screen right here. There's random.org. Oh, I don't want, what are these? I don't want random geographic coordinates. What was that? Oh, we'll have to check that out later. Okay, so first we'll do the left-right cards for the uh, Contenders Round Numbers cards. There was a numbered Round Numbers card, Yetter Gross Mottos, Carolina, and KJ Hamler, Denver. That was to 149. And then, of course, everybody has a shot at the big prize of the break. The Tom Brady Autograph Football TriStar Authenticated. The second name will get the 250 points. For all three lists, one dice roll, one and a five, six times for all three lists. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six right side cards, we'll get these. For this one that was numbered, One and a five, six times. One, two, three, <laughs> four. I'll check, Colin. Five and sixth and final time. After six, Carolina will be on top after six. So it'll be the Panthers. Um, that will be Jeff Rossetti who will get that card right here. Colin wanted me to check the air pressure on this on this football here. A little deflated. Probably just enough to get a better grip on that football in adverse conditions. Not that, not that 
a goat like Tom Brady would need anything like that. One and a five, six times for the Tom Brady autograph football. One, two, three, four, five. Good luck. And sixth and final time after six. Thanks, everyone, here for giving this a shot. I appreciate it. Spot two, a little consolation prize. I know it's not not what you want, Jeff, 250 points, but there you go, 250 points going your way. I appreciate you getting in. And big congrats to Don, Don McRae, who won that spot in the most recent filler that we had to do for this, wins the Tom Brady autographed football. It's actually... Take that baby out really quick. There you go. There's the autograph. There's the uh, Super Bowl logo right there. The commissioner's autograph. Now the sticker is a little. Uh, you can see. Oh, you can see it right there. It's a little faded, but it says TriStar on there, as you can see, with the authentication number. So pretty nice stuff. There you go. Nice big auto right in the center of the panel. Very nice stuff. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do a quick little recap. Thanks, everyone, for giving this a shot. A two was really nice. A couple Herberts in the mix. Nice Brian Edwards. So a lot of great stuff, a lot of different years in this mixture. Travis Kelsey, rookie, Julio Jones, rookie, Von Miller, rookie. So all sorts of nice stuff. And there you go, boys and girls. That was Jaspi's 12-box off-season NFL mixer featuring that Tom Brady autograph. Thanks, everyone, for joining. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.